Hi everyone, welcome to this Noddy Networker quick tip. In this video, we'll show you how to implement unidirectional wayfinding routes in the Meridian Editor. There are many cases where you might use a unidirectional route in a Meridian based app, such as museums, theme parks, uh, enterprise buildings with security, airports, or factories with turnstile exits. We use the Meridian portal construct to implement unidirectional routes. By simply omitting the isExit parameter from certain portals, we can create unidirectional routes representing turnstiles or security gates within an application. OK, let's quickly run through how we create a unidirectional route. First off, we're going to open and log into the Meridian Editor. We're going to select an appropriate map and then select the routing option. We choose two nodes on the map to provide the unidirectional control. In this instance, point C and D. We double click on each of them and turn them into portals. We then make sure that we select the same portal name, in this instance, turnstile, for both the portals. And then we configure the is exit tick box as required for the user flow control. We want users in area A to use portal C as the exit. So we select the is exit parameter on the C portal. However, users in area B are not routed to area A via point D since the is exit is not selected for the D portal. Now, Let's take a look at an example Meridian deployment. In this case, an exhibition center where we need to represent several unidirectional routes. There's a turnstile entry to the exhibition itself, a downward exit only escalator, and a turnstile at the exit of the building. Let's switch to the Meridian editor now and work through that configuration. We're in the Meridian editor, and you can see that we have our sample application loaded. Let's go and select the maps option. And we can see that we've pre-configured the three maps that we're gonna be using in the application. That's the entry lobby, the main exhibition floor, and then another map for the exit. Let's take a look at the portals. Again, we've pre-configured the main portals that we're going to use in the application. Let's go back to our maps. And let's take the journey effectively that a user would experience walking into the exhibition center, walking around and exiting. So we're gonna look at the routing to provide that. So we select the routing for the entry lobby this is a very simple map with an entrance on the left hand side. We have a ticket office in the middle here. And then on the right hand side, we have an escalator that takes you up to the exhibition floor. So let's look at where the portals may be on this floor. So we're going to click, double click on this node point at the entrance. And we're going to turn that into a portal because it is where you enter and exit the uh, entry lobby. So we click the is exit and we select a portal name. And in this instance, it's main entrance. OK. Now, so this is how you enter and leave the entry lobby. The other exit from this map is, in fact, the escalator. So we double click the escalator and this is also an exit and we select the entrance escalator so we have two portals both have is exit enabled which means that any user on this map can exit from this floor either through the main exit or through the up escalator to the exhibition floor above OK, that finishes really the configuration in the entry lobby. So we go back to our maps. 
And let's now move on to the exhibition floor itself. So again, we're going to select the routing. OK, so a few more routes on this floor and we'll look at uh, the flow of the user. So he's going to come in at the top right here. This is the uh, escalator from the lobby down below. They're going to walk along in the lobby and then they're going to come to the turnstile for the visitors. So this is where they're going to present their tickets and then they go through the turnstile and into the main uh, exhibition floor here. When they're finished with the exhibition, then they're going to walk out to this point here, which is the down escalator, but this is a down only escalator in this instance. So let's look at the portal usage on this particular floor. So we'll start with the user that's coming up the escalator and they arrive at this point of this node. We're going to turn that into a portal. And it is an exit portal and it is the entrance escalator. So this means that users can come up the escalator and also go back down from this upper lob lobby back down to the uh, entrance lobby uh, if they want to just exit without actually going to the exhibition. Assuming they are going to the exhibition, then they're going to come along this path. And the, here we have the turnstile. This is the entry turnstile for the exhibition. So hence there is no route, direct route, between this lobby and the exhibition itself. You have to go through the unidirectional turnstile. So we're going to create that unidirectional turnstile by creating the two uh, portal points here. So we click on the first one. And this is an exit for the upper lobby here. And it is the visitor turnstile. OK, so that's configured. So users in this upper lobby can either go back down the escalator because the is exit is set, or they can go through to the turnstile uh, if they want to go into the exhibition. Now, on the other side of the turnstile, we have to create the other side of the portal, which is the visitor turnstile. But this time, we do not select the is exit because when users have entered the exhibition, we do not allow them to go back out the turnstile. The flow of users is out down the escalator and out of the building eventually through the shop. So this is our unidirectional turnstile implementation. Now, when the users are in the exhibition and they eventually want to leave, we take the, the path out to the down only escalator. So here's another exit point from the exhibition itself. So we double click whoop, and we select is exit because it's an exit for this floor. And this is the down escalator. So that's the portal name for exiting this floor. So that's all of the portals now configured for the main exhibition floor. Go back to the maps. This just leaves the routing in the exit lobby. OK, so again, pretty simple routing uh, uh, map here. We're going to come down the escalator from the exhibition floor and we're going to enter at this point here. This is the escalator. So we're going to double click here, create a portal. It is not an exit for this floor because this is a unidirectional um, escalator, effectively come down the escalator and you have to leave the building. So we select the portal. It's the down escalator from the uh, previous map that we configured. So now we're down into this uh, area. This is the shop, so you can browse around the shop, obviously. And then we go to exit, we have another turnstile here. This is another unidirectional turnstile. So again, we're going to create a portal. This is the exit for um, visitors in this, uh, uh, in this floor. And we're going to select. This time, it is the exit turnstile. OK. And to create the unidirectional flow across this turnstile, 
we have to create the portal on the opposite side it's not an exit once you're gone through the turnstile so we leave that unticked and we select exit turnstile again okay so this means that users can come down the escalator they can browse in the shop and they go through the unidirectional turnstile and lastly on this map we can select the actual exit and this is an exit portal for this map um, and we'll give it we'll connect it to the main entrance and uh, the reason being that you can actually walk out of this building and you can of course nothing stopping you walking back in the main entrance so it completes our routing for the application so let's run the Meridian application on a mobile device and quickly check that the unidirectional routing behaves as we expect. So let's get directions to the upper lobby, starting from the exhibition. Notice that the wayfinding does not attempt to route the visitor via the nearby entry turnstile, which is not physically possible. Instead, it routes the visitor all the way out of the building and back into the main entrance up the escalator to reach the upper lobby. So the unidirectional routing we configured earlier is working as expected. That concludes this short video. Thanks for listening to the Noddy Networker. See you soon.